It is time to talk about the Sharon Playhouse. Uh, they wrapped up uh, uh, the big season on the main stage and and then had their incredible gala that had Maureen McGovern. And now a couple of more events coming up uh, at the Sharon Playhouse. Uh, they have uh, coming up on Saturday the 28th, St. Patrick's in September, in support of Sharon Daycare and the Sharon Playhouse. And then uh, once again, they get together with the Salisbury Sinfonetta October 5th and 6th with the HMS Pinafore. Let's welcome in uh, Alan Winger once again this morning. Alan, good morning. Good morning, Marshall. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm awake and happy and <laughs> raring to go. All right. Uh, so I see. Uh, I saw the, the the pictures and stuff of of uh, Maureen McGovern at your Spotlight Gala. Oh my God, she was so wonderful. You would never. I don't feel bad saying this because she said it herself. She's 70 years old, but you would never know listening to her. You close your eyes, and it's 1978. She was a great interview. I uh, had interviewed her many, many, many years ago. Uh, when the morning after first came out, working at uh, WKMI in Kingston, New York, and I got to ask her a question I never asked back then. So it was a lot of fun talking with her. All right, so we've got uh, we've got a, a great uh, couple of events coming up here, uh, and uh, the first one comes up actually this weekend on Saturday, and uh, it's St. Patrick's in September to benefit the Sharon Playhouse and Sharon Daycare Center. Absolutely. We are so looking forward to that. It's from uh, 2 to 4, and we're at the Bach Gallery, and there's going to be live music and wonderful snacks and uh, Celtic dancing, and it's just going to be a lot of a lot of fun. Well, I can see that you've got the Wildcat Creek Band, which a lot of people around here know who's in the Wildcat Creek Band, but you also have uh, step dancing uh, that's, that's going to also be on display there. Absolutely. I mean, I don't think Michael Flatley's going to be there, but <laughs> the idea is, is there, and we're, we're going to have some fun. And um, our mirrors are open, so hopefully we can uh, all do a little dancing ourselves, too, and learn a little. Now, this is, uh, you, you, folks, you can, this is something where if you have kids, uh, kids under 12 can come and, and, and join in absolutely free. Yes. It's, it's, a, family, it's a family event, but, you yeah. know, sharing daycare and all, and we're, we're so happy to be partnering with them for this. And come on down. It's going to be a beautiful day, and we're just going to have a nice time. That's Saturday the 28th from 2 to 4 uh, at the Mott Gallery at the Sharon Playhouse. Uh, cash bar, irish theme beer, wine, and cheese. Now, that doesn't sound too bad. No. <laughs> no. Sounds good to me. All right. Uh, but then uh, October 5th and 6th, you're teaming up once again with the Salisbury Sinfonetta, the HMS Pinafore. Oh, yes. I love Burn Sullivan's wonderful, wonderful operetta. We had such a success with um, Iris of Penzance last year that we decided to do it again. We were getting such a wonderful response from uh, the audiences throughout the whole region of, are you doing it again? Are you going to do something? And so we are. And uh, and what's great about, uh, once again, I think what's great about the HMS Pinafore um, is that it's something that anybody of any age can enjoy. Oh, absolutely. It's fun, it's silly, there's beautiful music, there's comedy, um, and it's, it's one, as we all know, it's one of the more well-known shows. So we're so happy to be presenting this, and hopefully this is now a yearly event of presenting um, a wonderful show in concert at this time of year. It's almost exactly a year from last year when we did uh, Pilot. All right, uh, we're speaking with Alan Winger at the Sharon Playhouse. So, uh, so, so... Look back over this past season. Quite a wild, wild ride, huh? Oh, it's been a wonderful season, Marshall. We've had such a great time. Very successful. Everybody seems very happy. Um, that's why we're so excited to be able to present these off-season events the, uh, almost yearly. Um, in addition to HMS Pinafore, which I would like to say, I would like to offer your listeners some um, complimentary tickets. Uh, well, you can figure out how you would like to do that, sir. Um, two tickets for the uh, Saturday night performance and two tickets for the Sunday performance. Um, you'll let us know what, how that all works out for you. And we're happy to do that because we are so happy that people are enjoying what we're doing over at the Playhouse. Um, uh, like I said, this is one year, uh, a yearly event. We're doing our classical concert on November 23rd with Nava Perlman, daughter of Isak Perlman. Um, we did that almost exactly a year ago when we had a um, string quartet. So we're really striving to keep these uh, events going. 
make them yearly so people know exactly when they're going to be happening, and offer some alternatives uh, and entertainment here. Now, I know you guys just don't have anything else to do with your time, but I was wondering, <laughs> have you have you, have you put any thoughts, thoughts yet uh, for next year, or is that something that's just uh, um, put in the back shelf for a little bit? Oh, it's not on the back shelf. We have some wonderful titles in mind for next season. Um, we're still working out the details and getting right, so of course we can't um, yeah. say too much. But, you know, sometimes you think about what you might want to do on the stage shows that might not have been done before here at the Sharon Playhouse. And, you know, one, one title that I might, you know, consider is something about singing and maybe there's rain and I, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly what might happen but you know shows are coming down the pike that i think everybody are going to enjoy right, well i want to remind people once again saturday the 28th this weekend uh, st patrick's in september to benefit the playhouse and the sharon daycare center uh it runs uh, at uh, the bach gallery in between two and four and then uh, October 5th and 6th, the HMS Pinafore in concert at the Salisbury Symphony. As with everything, uh, you can get uh, tickets and information on the web, SharonPlayhouse.org, or you can even call the box office, 860-364-7469. Now, I want to squeeze this in here because uh, it's it's the fall education classes that uh, are going to start uh, uh, and actually have started. Can, do people have, have time to, to still sign up for those? There are. You, there, um, that's all on the website under the education uh, banner. You can find out more information. There are still a few classes left in singing and acting and dancing especially, and we're, um, we encourage you to come on down and uh, see what's going on. We plan to do some more in the spring uh, when the weather's good so people can come out. Uh, one more thing on HMS Pernifer, though, I would like to let um, the listeners know. Marshall is we have a lot of wonderful wonderful locals in the show so people should come and support their friends we have a, an ensemble of, of upwards of 40 people we're bringing back some favorites from last year's um, Pirates of Penzance we're bringing back some favorites from this summer uh, Trevor Martin who was our beast is coming in to perform we have some uh, uh, Jack Bauman at the Sinfonetta has uh, you know arranged a wonderful orchestra so People should come on down and see their friends and see the show. And I'm directing it myself, and uh, I don't know, you may see me on stage as well. <laughs> All right, so once again, uh, by phone, 860-364-7469, extension 200, online, which is Sharon Playhouse. Dot org. Congratulations on a great season, Ed. We're now into the fall, heading into the winter season at the Sharon Playhouse. Thanks, Marshall. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, the Sharon Playhouse. Once again, SharonPlayhouse.org. That's SharonPlayhouse.org for more information.